In this video, I will show you how to use Affiliate X single product block to promote different affiliate products. Using Affiliate X single product block, you can easily add the product information that you want to promote with the necessary details. This block offers tons of customization options. Here is the preview and the different variations you can achieve with the single product block. Let's see how we can achieve one of these layout. From your dashboard, select the post or page where you want to add the single product block. I want to add single product block to one of the blog posts. So go to post and all posts. I'm going to select this particular blog post. So I'm going to open it in the new tab. And I'm also going to open the post in the new tab on our site so that we will be able to see the differences at the end. Let's go back to our blog post. Now, click on the add block icon Look out for Affiliate X single product and you have to click on it. And here is our block. You will get a default block design which you can modify via the provided block settings. Before we dive into the settings, let's add some content first. First of all, you have to add the image. Click on Upload Image. Then select the image that you want to add, click on select. And here is the product image. Now similarly add in the title. Similarly, you have to add in the product description here. Now let's move on to the settings. First is the layout settings. Just make sure that for all of these settings to show, you have to select the block first. It is only after you select the block, the block related settings will be displayed on your right hand side under block. So the first is the layout settings. You can select from layout number one, layout number two or layout number three. I'm going to stick with layout number one, but you can select your preference. Next is the ribbon settings. You can enable ribbon with the help of this option, which will display ribbon on your product. You can select ribbon type from ribbon 1 or ribbon 2. Let's go with ribbon 2. You can also edit the ribbon text. Remove the text that is already here, then you can add in the text of your choice. Under general settings, you will be able to enable or disable the button. Let's enable it back on. Then you will also be able to disable or enable the product image. You can select the image alignment from left or right. You can also select the image width. You can select inherit or you can also custom the image width. You can adjust the image width from here. I'm going to select inherit. Next is the image source. With the help of this option, you can either upload the image like we did earlier or you can even add an image from the external source. So let's say that you want to display image from an external source like Amazon. Then you have to click on the external option. Let's go to an external site. So for example, if you want to add in the image from Amazon.com and this is the image that you want to add, you have to go to the site. Then you have to select the image that you want to upload. Right click on the image. Click on copy image address. Now let's go back. Then paste the link inside of the external link box which will then display the image over here. Let's go with the uploaded image this time. Then there is the border settings. With the help of this option, you can add in your preferred border and color. Click here, then you can select the type of border. If you do not want to select any border, then you have to click on none. But if you do want to select a border, then select one of the borders 
and you can select the color of the border. Click here. You can select the color from the palette. You can move around the pointer. You can also adjust the tone from here. Let's go with dark blue. After selecting the border and the border color, you can also define the border width. So if you want to add in the border width as 5, you can add in the value here. Then you have to click on the lock icon here, which applies the same value or number across all directions and you will see the change accordingly. You also get to adjust border width for different devices like tablets and mobile devices. So for a tablet, you can set a different border width. You can go for a smaller border width like 3 for example. You can set the value as 3. You can click on the lock icon which will apply the value across all the directions following the same process. You can select the mobile device. You can add in the border width as maybe 2. Again, click on the lock icon which will implement the same number across all directions. If by any chance you want to reset the border width, you can always click on the reset icon. The reset icon is also available for the rest of the options. Then you can also adjust the border radius. Let's add 6 for example. Again, click on the lock icon. This helps you to achieve a slightly rounded border. Then you also have options like border shadow and divider. From under titles, you can disable or you can enable the title. You can set the product title from here as well. Then from here, you can select the heading tag from the list of available drop-down options. You can also select the title alignment from left to center to right. Let's stick with left or you can go for any other options. Next is the subtitle settings. With the help of this option, you will also be able to enable subtitle. Then you can add in the product subtitle of your choice. You can add the subtitle inside of this box or you can simply click here. Then add in the subtitle. Then you can also select the product subtitle tag from the list of available heading options. Then you can also set the subtitle alignment. Under rating settings, you can enable the rating option which will display the rating for the product. Then you can select rating style. You can go with the star rating or you can select score box. You can add in the rating number here which will display right over here. So instead of 8.5, if you add in 9.6, that is what displays on the score box. Then you can also change the rating content from our score to something else. Remove the label that is already here. Then you can type in the label of your choice. You can also select the rating alignment from right to left. Under pricing settings, you can enable pricing to display the price. You can select the price alignment from left to center to right. I'm going to go with the left. Then if the product is meant to be on some kind of discount or sales, you can also add in the marked price as well as the sales price. Then we have the content settings. With the help of this option, you will be able to disable or enable the content. Another important feature is the content type. By default, it is set at paragraph. If you want to select a list, then you can select list and add your content as a list. You can also select the list type as an ordered or ordered list. And when you have selected the unordered list, you can also select the icon from the list of available icons. So instead of this icon that was already displaying here in default, if you want to add in something else, like the thumbs up icon, you can select it and it will be displayed here. Or you can go with some other icon, for example, like this one, or even this one, or this one. The choice is yours. 
I'm going to go with paragraph. Then you can also select the content alignment from left to center to right. Let's go with left again. Then under colors, you will find different color options. For example, you can select a different title color. The default color is black. You can go for some other color like blue for example. The subtitle and rest of the colors look fine to me. So let's see what else we can change. Maybe we can change the score box color. So instead of the blue color that is displaying here, let's select the background as the green color. Dark green color at that. And this looks fine to me. For ribbon, instead of this bright red color, maybe let's go for a darker red color. You can also set the tone from here. You can also set a background color for your single product. You can either go for a gradient or you can go for the solid color. If you select solid color, you can select the background color from here. Let's select a slightly colorful background to contrast with the white color background that we have here on the back. So instead of white, maybe let's go for slightly gray color, grayish blue maybe. Okay, this looks fine. Let's go with this color. You can also add in the hex value over here if you wish to. Under typography, you get the options to select the font family, font style. Then you can also adjust the font size, line height, letter spacing, as well as apply various additional styling options. By default, the block inherits the site's font settings, but you can customize it as per your requirement. So let's see what we can change here. Everything looks fine to me except for the title size. It can be increased a little bit. So maybe we will go with a larger font size. So for the score box, the font size can be increased a little bit. Let's increase the font size here as well. So click here and instead of 30 pixels, let's go for maybe 42. Now it looks fine. Then under spacing, you can set the margin as well as the padding to your single product block. Now apart from these settings, you also have the button block. If you click or select the button block, the button block settings will be revealed. You can go through these settings to make changes for your button block. Like you can go for the layout settings, you can go for the default or you can go for the price layout. You can select the price tag position. Let's go with the default button then under button settings. You can add in the link here. You can enable or disable these options. You can add in the button border, set the border radius. Then you can also adjust the rest of the settings. I have also made an in-depth tutorial on how to add the button block as well as customize the various settings that are available here. You can have access to that video from the eye icon above or you will also find the link in the description box below. After you are done with all of the settings, you have to click on update. Now let's go back to the same post that we had opened earlier in the beginning of our tutorial. And we will give it a refresh. And here is your single product block. If you have any questions, please do let me know in the comment section below. Or you can always reach out to our support team. I have added the link to creating support ticket in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.